Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this white cuff seed beads bracelet. It's really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you wanna support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell and in this way uh, you will be notified when I release matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and I will make earrings and if you follow me and hit the bell, you will see this in my next video. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I need for this video are only two colors of 11 o seed beads and a clasp here. I use toggle clasp, but you could use a regular clasp. It's up to you. I use monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. And here I use size 10 beading needle scissors. And it's not obligatory, but sometimes you could use pliers. Okay, so now I'm going to put about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have half an arm span on my needle and I'm going to take four of these beautiful black beads. Okay, I have my four. I'm going to slide them down, stick my needle here in my mat and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and now I have this okay then I want to go in my next black bead you see what I have I have something like cross this is right angle width is a stitch okay and now I'm going to take one black bead here and going through the following black bead then I'm going to take one more black go here in the next one then I'm going to take one more go here I'm just repeating what I did before and here I'm adding one more bead Okay, and I'm exiting in this black bead here and then I want to go through this edge bead that's sticking out like that. And now what I want to take is one silver bead and I want to go through the opposite bead that's sticking out like that. I'm exiting out of here. And I'm going through the opposite and in the same direction where my thread is originally pointing to. You see in this direction. Okay, and now I'm pulling. And when I pull, you see my bead goes here in the center of my work. Okay, and here what I need to take are five seed beads. Okay, I have my five here. And as I'm exiting from this bead that's sticking out, I'm going back in circle through the same bead. Okay, like that. You see, I have something like a loop here. Then I will go in my next two beads. And I want to exit out of this bead that's sticking out. Okay, here I want to take five, okay, five, go back in circle, making again a loop, go through the next two beads, and here is where my knot is, okay. And I'm going one by one here. Okay. 
Again, five. And the last five. Okay, guys, now this is what I have. Now, in my next step, I want to go through these two black beads in the last element of five that I added. Last loop of beads, okay? I'm going through these two. Now, what I need to take are five more beads. Five. And I'm going here in these two beads in my next element. Okay, now I have this and I want to do an additional step. I want to go through this bit here in the central circle or square in the central row. Okay, and then again through the, these first two beads that I've been through from the last element. Okay, like this. Now I want to go here for all of my beads and I'm reaching this element again, okay? Then I want to take one silver seed bead and now I want to go through the opposite two beads holding this silver. I'm going through the opposite two beads and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Okay, now I have this. And now what I want to do is go in this central black bead. I'm pulling. Then in these two side beads of my element. Okay. Don't worry, it looks like this. It will start looking better later. Five again. And going through these two side beads here. And if you can, in one movement, go through the central one as well. Okay. Then here in my next element and I want to add one silver here. As I'm exiting from these two beads, I want to go in the opposite two beads with my needle and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Okay, and I'm pulling. And I have a bead here in the center as well. Okay, then five. Okay. Go through these two and through the center one. Pull. Then back through those two beads. Okay. okay, now I'm taking one silver and going through the opposite two black beads in the same direction where my thread is pointing to, pulling. Then going through this central bead here, like I did before. And after that, through these two side beads. Okay. Not through this one that is attached to the center, but through these two side beads. And now I need to add 
5 beads and go through the same path. Okay, here is where I need to use my pliers. I think I could have handled this without pliers, but it's easier, okay? Now I need to add the last silver bead here. And as I'm exiting from these two beads in this direction, I'm going through the opposite two in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Okay? Now, of those five that I added here, I need to find the center. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going through three beads. And this one here is the central one. Okay, and here I want to add three silver beads. And I'm going back here. Okay, this is what I have now. And I'm taking one silver bead and going through this black bead that's sticking out. Taking just one more black bead and going through three beads here to find the center. Then I need three silvers going back in circle through this one, through the following two beads. Okay, pulling one silver. Go here. One more silver, go through three beads in this direction. Okay. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and I'm here and now I'm going to make my last row. And in order to make it, I'm going here through these two black and this one silver bead, pulling, taking three silvers and going through the next silver. Okay, and after that go through as many beads as you can, okay? When I pull, I have this. Then I'm going through these three beads here. Adding three. Pulling. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and here I am where I added my last three beads from this row. And now what I want to do is cut, make some knots and cut my thread. And in order to do this, I'm going through these two beads, making a loop, going once, going second time through the loop I've made. I'm pulling, then I'm going through the following seed bead. And I could repeat this step several more times. And when I'm ready, I will cut my thread and my element is ready. Now I will make more and more elements and I will be back to tell you how to connect them in a bracelet. 
Okay, guys, and same way I did five more elements and I have six in total. You could do less or more depending on your wrist size and uh, have in mind that if your clasp is larger like this toggle clasp, you should make your bracelet smaller. Okay, so now I have a new arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to start assembling my bracelet. First, I'm going to attach this new thread to this element. Okay. And I'm going to do this by going here through some beads, okay, pulling. And here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going once then going second time through the loop I made and I'm holding my tail thread the whole time. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. Then what I want to do is go here through those three silver beads. And I'm exiting here at this bit that's sticking out. And now what I want to do is cut this tail thread here. Okay. Now I have this new thread attached. Okay. And this is the front of my bracelet. And here what I want to do is take five of these beautiful black beads. Okay. I have my five. And I'm going back in circle through this silver like that and now I'm going to reinforce this okay going around like this Okay guys, and here is where I'm going to attach my clasp later, okay? And now I will show you how to assemble your bracelet, okay? Now, what I want to do is go around and reach this place here, okay? From the other side of my work, okay? And in order to do this, I'm going here through all of my beads. Okay, now I'm going to connect my next element and I'm taking my next element and what I want to do is take one black bead and as I'm exiting here, if you don't see my threads here where I'm exiting and I will go, I will add one black bead and go, oops, not here, but here through my next bead that's sticking out. Okay. And then I'm going to take one more black bead and I'm going here through this one, pulling. Now I have this. And I will go one more time around this right angle weave here. By right angle weave, weave I mean across a four beads, like here. Okay, you could go three times if you want. And now guys, guess what I do? I'm going around through all of my beads in this direction, exiting here and adding my next element the same way I showed you uh, here 
one black bead silver black silver and reinforcing it and I will continue this process until the end of my bracelet if you forgot how I did it just rewind the video up to here and you will see okay so when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and when I connected all of those elements like this now I'm here at this edge and what I want to do is make a loop here of beads where I will attach my clasp plater okay now I'm taking five beads going back in circle through this silver here then I will go around all of those five beads like this reinforcing my work Okay guys, and now my goal is to exit out of this angle bead here and here I will turn my work this way because it's easier for me and I want to go through these two black beads then I want to go through this silver and here at the edge Okay, and I will reach here. Okay guys, and when I'm here, what I want to take are four black beads. Okay, and I'm going here through this silver. The edge, okay, and now I will go through all of those bits here and I want to exit here at this silver bit. Okay, and here I want to take four more beads, okay? And I want to go to the next silver bead. Okay. And now guys, I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and when I continue this row, this is what I have. And I'm here at my last step where I want to add my last four beads here okay and now guys what I'm going to do is go around all of those beads here and through here and I want to exit here at this bead and continue adding four beads from this side okay I'll do this off camera because I don't want to watch me struggle through all of those beads and I will show you how I will continue. 
Okay, guys, and I went around through all of my, my bits here. In fact, here I went through the center of my work. And now I'm exiting this silver bead. And what I need to add are four more seed beads. I'm going here. And I will continue this from this side of my bracelet, okay? I will go to all of those beads, then add four beads here. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you how to attach your clasp and finish your bracelet. Okay, guys, and when I continue beading, this is what I had. This is my second row, and I'm adding here my last four beads from this row. And I pull tight. Okay. And now guys, I will make some knots and cut my thread and my bracelet will be ready. And I'll be back in a while to show you how to attach your clasp. Okay guys, and when I continue this and make some knots and cut my thread, my bracelet is ready. And now I'm going to show you how to attach your clasp. Okay, so now I will take one part of my clasp and I will take this jump ring, okay. Then I will open up this jump ring like this and I will put this one here inside this loop of beads that I showed you how I'm making. And now guys, I want to put my clasp And I squeeze back and now I have my clasp attached and I'm going to repeat this from the other part of my work. Okay guys, and I repeated this from the other part of my work and here and now my white cuff seed beads bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And in my next video, I will post earrings matching this bracelet. That's why don't forget to hit the bell. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.